Are you struggling with social confidence, perhaps? Well, today I'm going to talk about this and some guidance you can start applying to really help you through this. And if you stay until the end, I have an extra special point for you then as well. I was thinking about this and although it's something I've not really had a challenge with for a while, because I kind of conditioned myself with so much practice, so many opportunities to actually have a lot stronger social confidence. It's something I really used to struggle with. Now, I'm not saying, of course, if I went into a place, if I went into a brand new city, or if I went to a network and I didn't know anyone, I'm not saying I wouldn't lack a little bit of confidence. I'm a human being, right? But I'd have an awful lot more confidence than I used to have whereby I get really nervous and probably hide away. I would make an effort um, and then I would look to grow my social confidence. When I was in uh, sixth form, which is like the equivalent of college, uh, when, when like I know different countries interpret it different, diff differently. So it's basically after school um, and it's about the age of this age of 16 to 18. And particularly when I was 16 and just started, I was so nervous about people. I went to an open day, I remember. And I was so nervous about, I didn't, I had friends, but they weren't there. And I didn't know anyone in the room. And, you know, I was looking to get to know friends through the friends I already had, but I, I went into a room really nervous, didn't know anyone. I hadn't been in that for a little bit. And I had like one or two friends at my previous school I was at. Uh, and I was moving because it was a better school. And I remember just like going in there, sitting down alone. I was just so worried what other people were thinking about me. Like, oh, they look at me being all alone and all these kind of things. All this narrative going off in my head. You're a loser, all these kind of things. And do you know what I did at lunchtime? I went and hid away in the toilet. No, I, I just said that. Yeah, I went and hid away in the toilet like at 16 because I was so nervous about people seeing me alone so I just had to go somewhere where I wasn't in sight right and then the afternoon everyone kind of went home and I was able to do that uh, but I, I couldn't really hang around anywhere for for a certain time and also around the age of 16 this, this just goes to show over the couple of years after I really did develop my social confidence and I made some effort that really allowed me to grow because I started getting results and you don't get results unless you make the effort, even though you're scared. And that's one thing I would share with you. Now, you might not. I was very fortunate and a few like two, three times I tried stuff, made new friends, interact with people. I started to get results and therefore my confidence grew. Now, I did try to interact with people who didn't necessarily respond in the way they just I'd be like, oh, hey, uh, let's say, hey, Joe. Um, and then like say joe would just you know just give me a nod like right and i'd be like looking for a signal that you know sit down with maybe joe and his his mate or so because i like recognize him from another group or whatever um so yeah there were times i got a little bit rejected and i tried to speak to a couple of other people in social situations and maybe they didn't respond back the way i thought um and yeah, it was, but you never know what other people think in their head. Maybe they quite like you, but they're not responding that way. Or maybe they're just nervous as well, right? Or maybe they're just, you know, they're not for you. They're not the person for your life uh, or to be your friend or whatever. I remember though, like I, I, I avoided my prom and if, I don't have many regrets in life, but if there, if there was something... I would say, like, not going to my school prom at the age of 16 would be one of them. Like, I just didn't do it. I was just like, I, I had a, f a few friends at the end of the previous school I was at. And I haven't really talked about this for a while, so it's quite useful kind of sharing it. So I don't, you know, if you, if you do miss it or have missed it, you know, it's happened, but, you know, uh, well, if you're listening to this, you probably you probably passed that age anyway <laughs> of 16. Yeah, I don't want you to miss out on opportunities because the nerves got in the way like I did at that that age. It was just I was like worried what other people were thinking. I, I kind of made up excuses. And yeah, I just because I had a lack of social confidence, I, I didn't go. 
And what's the reason that we can lack social confidence? We lack social confidence because we're so cautious of what other people think. This is from my own experience and what I've learned from working with other people as well and studying it. And that's down to not good enough a relationship with ourselves. If you're worried about what other people think so much, now I don't. I genuinely don't believe that nobody has like zero care of what anyone thinks. There's, unless you've got some kind of like psychological uh, challenge, I I believe people. You know, different le- we're all different levels, different stages. I do believe people do care like what people think of them to some degree, no matter where they are. Um, again, there's uh, you know perhaps the exceptions if someone's got a psychological uh, challenge in in the way there. Uh, like the most charismatic, you know, people on stage who go out and do what they want. Like I believe they do care what other people think, but just very, very, very little, and it doesn't control their life at all. Whilst other people are so hold back by what others think that it really lacks their confidence. Maybe you're in that boat, and I was in that boat. So you know, don't. Don't worry, and I want to give you some guidance in a minute. But it's about building that relationship with yourself. And that's the key here, because when you start building a good relationship with yourself, you like yourself, you start building energy, you start feeling energetic, and you're able to go out and find those people that resonate with you. And they come to you in many occasions as well. I've found that so many times. Now, ask yourself this. How is it helping you by just getting in the destructive habits of the, that are holding your social confidence back. Because if you're like me, missing the prom, you know, hiding where the toilets when I was 16, it wasn't good, right? <laughs> and yeah, so don't get into the boat of letting your social confidence hold you back. So let's go into some practical points. I'm just going to give you three. I don't know if I complicate it. Um, and then, of course, the bonus one as well. So develop a re- the first one, just following on what I'm saying, develop a relationship with yourself every single day, right? How do you do that? You can tell yourself you love you in the mirror. It's, it's, you can journal to yourself. You can talk to yourself nicely. One summary point I would say, though, is it's about spending time with yourself. It's, even if that's 15 minutes in the morning, you have 15, I don't know what your situation is, but you have 15 minutes to spend with yourself, even if it requires 15 minutes getting up earlier okay 50 and ideally earlier in the day because the more we go on through the day more tired we get and less chance we're going to do it so just spend some time with you and listen to what you have even if it's just sitting in silence or journaling or talking to yourself i like to talk to myself quite regularly um i'm kind of talking to, i'm not really i'm doing a podcast right now alone in my uh, apartment but <laughs> Uh, I do talk to myself and ideas because it's healthy. I like building a relationship and developing a relationship with yourself. So that's the first one. Spend some time with yourself daily because if you're rejecting, neglecting yourself, you're not going to have a good relationship with yourself. The second one, really work on your non-verbal communication. Really work on your non-verbal communication because that builds a lot more confidence and trust and connection with people than actually your words. I'm not saying your words aren't important, yeah, your nonverbal, your tonality plays a point as well. But not, it's been shown in studies that the high and multiple studies that the highest percentage of most effective communication is your nonverbal communication. So work on that every single day. How can you do that? Well, there's a good exercise called the power pose, whereby you every day just literally do like a Wonder Woman pose in the mirror. Uh, that's a really, really effective one. Uh, you can just walk upright. You can do many, many things. Uh, to Just look up. There's a great book I'd recommend called uh, What Everybody is Saying by Joe Navarro as well. And it's a really, really good book. Just study body language because that's really effective for building up your social confidence as well. And then the third one, start small. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't confuse things. Start really, really, really small. Like just say good morning to someone. Just... Do one social thing a week because that's going to be super effective. And then you start and praise yourself along the way, by the way. Congratulate yourself for doing it because that's going to build momentum and therefore confidence. So I've got a uh, final point for you uh, as well. 
And the final point for you is read a book or listen, it's actually an audio book as well, I believe, called Higher Status by Jason Capital. That will go through things like your nonverbal communication. It'll go through things like how you can practice tonality, how you can do things so that you come off with more confidence in situations that socially, in social situations, so you can be more confident. That's my extra recommendation. So I want to appreciate you for being here and taking the time out to improve your social confidence. Remember to actually implement this or at least one, just one thing from this, even if it's going and getting that book and then doing something regular because you will not improve your social confidence if you don't do anything. If you just listen to me and go, oh, that was inspirational. Well, great, but you need to actually do something. I'm not here to just say things that are going to make you feel good. I want you to take action. So take action, do something. And it's really great to hear feedback when people are being implementing things off this. You know, I'm doing this absolutely free. What you can do for me in return is take action. That's what I want you to do. That's how you can pay me back is taking action on what I say. It's not listening to me and go, oh, great, because you're going to go around the same loop if you just listen and don't do anything with this. OK, so that's what I'm really passionate about and wanted to share as well. Okay, so I want to appreciate you once again. So thank you for listening today. And remember, you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence.